Dr. Ha, Jahan Moon, our gracious host, Dr. Ilsik Hong, the Speaker of the National Assembly of the Republic of Korea, together with distinguished excellencies, distinguished delegates who are present here this morning, President and members of the Universal Peace Federation, and of course, distinguished members of the Sunak Peace Prize Committee. My colleague and co-recipient of the award, Dr. Madaduku Gupta, and of course, my wife, who is here to join me on this occasion, friends, ladies, and gentlemen. As is customary in my tradition, allow me to share with you our Kiribati traditional blessings, meaning, may you all be blessed. I wish to begin by taking a moment to pay very special tribute to the late Reverend Sun Myung Moon and to Dr. Hak Cha Han Moon for their lifelong vision and work which is underpinned by the ultimate goal of achieving global peace for all. Indeed, had the global community embraced these visions of promoting reconciliation, coexistence, and cooperation, the world would certainly be a much better place and a more peaceful place today. I also wish to congratulate Dr. Hak Chan Hang Moon, together with the chairman and members of the committee for this inaugural Sunak Peace Prize Award Ceremony, an initiative of immense international significance in order to pursue, to continue Reverend Moon's legacy of one family under God. For my part, I am truly honored to be a co-recipient of this inaugural award of the Sunak Peace Prize for 2015. For the last 12 years have been for me a lot of challenges, starting from when my people elected me into office in 2003 to guide them towards a safe, secure, and prosperous future. Upon accepting that honor, I also accepted the responsibility that came with it, one of which is to ensure that their voice, their issues, would be heard, especially within the international arena. In receiving this most prestigious award, it is indeed my most fervent hope that it will lend greater force to the agency of the message which I have over the years been trying to communicate to the global community about the ex existential threat both posed by climate change to the future survival of future generations of my people and those in similar situations. Climate change affects all of us in varying degrees of severity. But for my people and all of those who live on low-lying atoll islands, we are at the front line of this global calamity, with the very real possibility that our islands, our livelihoods, our homes, our identity as a people and as a culture may indeed cease to exist well within the century. As leaders, we all have a duty to protect and safeguard those people for whom we are responsible. As parents and as grandparents, it is only natural and, in and instinctive that we would do so with our life if necessary. For those who rely on us for their security, and I do believe it is the moral obligation of all humanity to ensure that all future generations be guaranteed a safe and a secure future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is against this background that I honor and acknowledge 
the most notable contribution of my fellow awardee, Dr. Gupta, whose li lifelong work will forever remain an inherent feature of the ongoing work on global food security. It is an honor to be considered alongside a worthy fellow awardee such as Dr. Gupta. Let me also take this opportunity to acknowledge the one person who has supported and tolerated me throughout the years, especially in those dark moments of frustration and despair when I felt a deep sense of futility that no one was listening to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to acknowledge my wife, Nenna. This award is as much for her as for all our dozen or so grandchildren, as well as those grandchildren whose voice we have tried to represent over the years. For their sake, let us do what is right for them. In closing, let me share with you our very traditional blessings of the Maori Terai the Tapamuan meaning health, peace, and prosperity be upon us all. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your support. Our Prime Minister, Anno Tetong, the Prime Minister, has been Ladies and gentlemen, we just heard the acceptance speech made by President Anno Tetong. Thank you.